Hammerhead worms. They certainly have a unique look, and they were first introduced to the U.S. from Southeast Asia in the early 1900s. Though they've not been found in overwhelming numbers so far, they have turned up in Tennessee and surrounding states. So what is their biggest threat to our environment? They're predators. They feed on um, earthworms and slugs and other invertebrates. Uh, and even on other hammerhead worms. I think the biggest threat would be to somebody who is keeping growing uh, earthworms for a living. I think the biggest threat, the biggest concern would be to that industry. We don't want to decimate our, our native earthworms or, or earthworms that we uh, have in our yards. And there is a note of caution. If you see one, don't pick it up with your bare hands. They produce a toxin that's an irritant to your skin. But there's one other thing you shouldn't do. And it has to do with how to get rid of them. If we do see them and people want to kill them, we need to make sure they don't use a hoe and chop them up into little pieces. They can get up to a foot long. So you don't want to cut it up because they can regenerate. That's how they reproduce asexually. They uh, break off a part of their body and then it regenerates the rest of it. So if you were to hack it up into several pieces, you're going to be having that many more uh, hammerhead worms present. So it is suggested that you douse them with salt, vinegar, or alcohol to kill them. But there's a bit of good news as far as these slimy creatures are concerned. We just aren't seeing the high numbers of the hammerhead worms to cause any significant damage at this time. So for now, the hammerhead worm is something the experts will continue to monitor. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.